Hey everyone, my name is Donnie Lowy from WholesaleUSADresses.com. Today I'd like to talk to you about listening to your wholesale competition. I know that sounds like a unique concept, but I think it's very important. And this is what I mean. Many times we get so engrossed in our own business that it's hard to, you know, to really see the forest for the trees. Meaning we're so focused on trying to sell our merchandise that we can miss out on different style trends. We're so focused on making sales that we forget to check the prices that our other people are charging the market. And the idea is that you want to you know, have your eyes open. You want to see what else is taking place in the marketplace so that you can be better prepared and you could take advantage of opportunities. And one of the best ways to know what is happening in the marketplace, whether you have a wholesale business, whether you have a store, whether you sell at a flea market, whether you sell on eBay, whether you sell on Amazon, and whether you have garage sales, but you want to see what your competitors are doing. Because your competitors, especially if they're successful, are going to be able to give you the best indicators of what is currently taking place in the market. So for instance, let's say your competitors start running tremendous sales where they're discounting all of their fashion accessories and they're selling them at prices up to 90% below retail. That's even an indication that people are not looking to buy those types of fashion accessories so you would not want to order them for your business. On the other hand, if you see that your competitors are quickly selling out of women's office brand name suits, that means that you want to start carrying office women's suits because that seems to be a very popular item. If you see that your competitors are expanding and they're opening up more locations, it means that there's a big demand for the products and you should take advantage. But let's say you see your competitors starting to close up their businesses. You see them starting to retrench. That's even an indication that business is starting to slow down. Now, there, of course, there's an exception. Let's say your competitors are closing down because you're just really good and you're getting a lot of customers and you have the best merchandise. Okay, then that's not an indication that you should be wor- you know, have to be worried about the market. But if your competitors were doing really well and they, were, they had a much bigger business than your business and they're starting to struggle and you can't think of any specific reason why they're struggling and then you realize that the reason they're struggling has to do with the overall market, that should give you an indication that those market trends might affect you as well. And sometimes you just might have to change your products. You might have to change some policies that you have. Maybe you'll offer free shipping. Maybe you'll have a better return policy. Maybe you'll offer home delivery maybe you'll offer uh, fashion shopping you know there are many things you could do that your competitors might not be doing but it is important to see what your competitors are doing what's working for them what's not working for them to see how they react to market trends that's also a great idea let's say there is a new fad that is you know becoming very popular let's say everyone wants um, I don't know, colored earrings and you see that your competitors start ordering them from China, then that might be good for you as well to also start ordering those color fashion earrings from China. So you always want to listen to your competitors so you can make really good decisions in your own business. All right, the next time you are in New York, you're welcome to visit my warehouse. My website is wholesaleusadresses.com. Thank you so much. Have a great day.